Well, I think if you look at returns over one, three, five, 10, 15, 20, 30 years, um, alternatives have outperformed the public markets. So I think it gives investors something in their portfolio that can drive returns. Um, in addition, companies are staying private longer. And so it actually now really helps diversification. There's sort of two fundamental benefits that you could potentially get from alternative investments. And these go back to the kind of traditional ways we think about investing. Um, one is risk. Um, so you could be getting more diversification from alternative investments. Almost certainly this is the case. And increasingly as public markets shrink, or at least the types of assets that are in public markets shrinks, and the universe of uh, private assets grows, um, the, the likelihood that you're going to be getting good diversification benefits is much greater. The other aspect uh, where you could potentially benefit from alternative investments is on the return side. Um, we are fortunate to have very good data on returns for most of the private investment universe and what we've been able to show pretty conclusively is that even if you do all of these adjustments for risk, um, there still seems to be significant return benefits from investing in alternatives. That the alternatives are what I call return seeking in that they are uh, uh, trying to find investments that have particular characteristics and if they're successful at that I can build a portfolio of uh, investment characteristics instead of just taking what the market gives me. Well within private equity what I would say is that there's a different type of exposure that you can get in this market versus in the public asset classes. Um, if you take a look at the different sector decomposition of public versus private equity you'll see that private equity is actually more heavily tilted towards the growth asset classes. So you don't see a lot of private equity investment in, say, utility companies. But if you think about disruptive technology that's really happening on the private equity side, if you think about really, um, you know, the, the really interesting places in healthcare, whether that's in terms of driving better patient outcomes or in terms of medical devices or in terms of, you know, patient and, um, you know, medical industry efficiency, that's really happening on the private equity side. And so I think there's that difference in terms of exposure. For institutional portfolios, uh, harvesting additional risk premia that you don't get in liquid markets, um, which provides additional diversification. So it allows you to take a traditional portfolio and move it uh, up and to the left on a risk return matrix uh, to get a more efficient uh, higher sharp ratio out of your, your total portfolio.